Hello, chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Oh, hey, y'all. Sorry, I'm just a little distracted. I just found a game over the weekend, and man, oh, man, is it wild. I don't know if y'all have heard of it. It's a it's a small, I think it's a startup game. It's called uh, My, M Minecraft. You basically just get to build a whole world, and I tell you what, I have had a blast. I mean, you can create stories, gardens, animals, anything you can think of. Bam! It's possible. And because I'm so competitive, I figured I'd issue a challenge between myself and Jada. I told her the person that comes up with the best Minecraft house design in Minecraft wins. Grand prize is five dollars in a corn dog that I found behind my couch. All right, so let's call Jada real quick and... Hey, Carl. Hi, Jada. Ready to lose? <laughs> okay, well, it's just a friendly competition, Carl. Right. Anyways, you finish your uh, Minecraft house? Yeah, I mean, I had to rush it a bit because I had a busy week, but yeah, I think it's finished. How about you? Oh, yeah, you could say that I finished mine, and to be honest, I don't think this is very fair. Well, all right. You want to go first? Sure. I mean, after seeing mine, you may not want to show yours, but yeah. Here we go. Voila! Wow, that's awesome. Thank you, thank you. It's pretty incredible if you ask me. You can see that I built a very strong foundation, which is pretty important. Then I kind of just went crazy with the rest of the design. I can see that. Great job, Carl. Thanks, I mean, I guess it's your turn if, I get, if, you, if you still want to go. Yeah, I'll show it. It's not much, but here it is. What do you think? Oh, yeah, it's um, it's good. It's um, it's, it's decent. I knew it. You know, I shouldn't have even showed it. I rushed it. It's not even really a house anyways. Are you kidding me? What? You don't like it? Of course I like it. You win. Look at it. Really? Yes, really. It's insane. I mean, I, I can, I'll never be that good. Oh, don't say that. Your house is great. It's very you, and that's more important. What do you mean by that? I'm just saying, God has created us to be different. I mean, look at Cain and Abel. Who? Cain and Abel, from the Bible, Genesis chapter four. Oh, got it. Well, what happened with them? Well, Cain and Abel were the sons of Adam and Eve. We learned about them last time. We sure did. Cain and Abel were very, very different. For one, Cain took care of crops while Abel took care of the animals, but they did have something in common. They both loved God and offered things to God in order to show their love and commitment. That's awesome. It is, but things started to happen inside of Cain's heart. He began to feel jealous and bothered by his brother Abel. Really? Why? Well, God took Abel's offerings and was very happy with them. What about Cain's offering? Well, God wasn't pleased with Cain's offering so much. How come? Well, the Bible doesn't say exactly, but it's possible that while Abel brought the best of what he had as an offering, but Cain didn't. Oh, so Abel put his whole heart into it and Cain was just kind of going through the motions, huh? It seems like it. So one day Cain got so angry he hurt his brother Abel really bad and it was a very bad decision. Wait, how bad? Oh no, this story is not making me happy. I know what you mean, but don't you think we can learn a lot from this story? Really? How? Wait a second, are you comparing me to Anger Cain? No, that's not what I mean. I'm just saying that God has created all of us differently and that was on purpose. But it's hard being different. Why would God make things hard for me? You know what, Carl? I've learned that no matter what, life will always have its hard moments. But God created each of us with a specific plan and purpose to overcome those difficult times. So we shouldn't just get angry and give up. We should be confident in who God created us to be. Wow, you are totally right. 
So it's not an accident that we're all different? No way. God is so creative and wise. God knew that each person having their own set of gifts, strengths, ideas, and skills would show just how big God's love is. All right, well, that makes me feel better. Well, I'm glad, because once we come to terms and understand that we were made in God's image and yet we are still so different, things can get exciting. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. I had no idea today's big idea was gonna be such a good one. Our big idea is God made us different on purpose. So let's say it together on the count of three, okay? One, two, three. God made us different on purpose. Great job, kids. Don't ever forget how much God loves you and how proud God is of you. Thanks for watching this episode of Grow TV. We will see you next time. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow